Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth episode of the British Isles in Open TTD. And very quickly before we get on with it, this is the West London Railway opening between the uh, South Western Main Line, the Great Western Main Line and the North Western Main Line, the West Coast Main Line. And now we have the Guildford Railway, Guildford Railway, Guildford Junction Railway. Uh, and as I'm building that, I'm just going to quickly say, say welcome to the fourth episode. Um, this one's been a long time in the making, um, I've been working on it since the release of the last episode. Uh, and that's because it's a big one. Also, this is the uh, Great Western Railway finishing off the Cheltenham Railway uh, by extending the line from Kemble to Cheltenham. Anyway, um, see what's happened is uh, there's hundreds and hundreds of railways that were proposed in the uh, past five years or, uh, in the previous episode. And now the world and me is feeding the repercussions of that. Um, a lot of railways opening in this five year period, which is why the episode's twice as long. Um, you know, 15 hours of footage put into here, and that's after I trimmed it down slightly. Um, so, because of that, it'll be a much more of a fast paced episode. So, I'll try my hardest to keep up. I apologise for being for being so fast. Great Western Railways had two stations in Cheltenham, they were um, Malvern Road and St James, which was a terminus. And Gloucester Central Station, uh, Great Western one was actually on uh, a bit of a branch line off the main line. Made it a bit awkward because I had to reverse the floor and just uh, Cheltenham. We have the uh, Sheffield, Ashton, Underline, and Manchester Railway extending from Godley Junction, uh, so Godley, to uh, Woodhead. Oh, do we know it or not? I'm in the complete wrong place, I apologise a lot. We have the uh, Sheffield, Ashton, Underline, and Manchester. I'm doing the same thing. This is the Wilson Town, Morningside, and Coldness Railway opening from uh, Morningside, where there's a bunch of steelworks. And uh, Longridge, where there's a lot of um, iron and uh, coal deposits. Now we have the Manchester Sheffield of the Line Match. Sheffield, no way. Oh, names are confusing, it's very fast and panicking. It's the word headline basically, that's all you need to know. But in the wood, uh, wood tone, yes, we're actually build, uh, building it right now. So the minute we just open to the top of the hill at Woodhead. Now, what I want you to do is completely ignore putting this railway in. You're not seeing anything right now. Because what happened is um, I had the wrong date down for this line opening. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, it's coming later. It opens, actually it opens in 1850. You're not seeing anything, nothing to see here folks. Nothing going on at all. In this episode, we're going to see a lot of main lines being built. Um, <clears throat> for example, the West Coast main line is going to be complete. The, uh, the East Coast main line is nearly going to be complete. The Midland main line is already um, everywhere. The, uh, we'll, we'll see main lines solidify. Big companies sort of start to form, basically. So anyway, now we have the um, Northampton and Peterborough Railway opening as a branch line off the West Coast main line. Lisworth through Northampton up to uh, Peterborough East Station. And a section of that is actually still open today as the uh, Mean Valley Railway, which I've never been on myself, but I do plan on going this uh, soon.
Sweet time with this one on it. Here we go. Um, now we have the uh, Norwich and Brandon Railway opening from uh, Norwich Thorpe to Brandon. And at the same time, the um, Eastern Counties Railway, uh, or rather the Northern, East, Northern and Eastern Railway, under the Eastern Counties Railway, confusing I you know, um, also extended from Cambridge. Bishop's Dorford, ah, so not even Cambridge yet. Um, from Bishop's Dorford to Brandon, and the two railways met there. And also on the uh, same day as this line being opened, the Norwich and Brandon Railway merged with the Norwich and Yarmouth Railway to form the uh, Norfolk Railway. Completion of these two lines, um, it means that there finally has been a link. There is a link between uh, London and Norwich, although it's just not, uh, not the one that the company's intended. It was the other one by uh, by Cambridge and Ealing. The one by uh, Ipswich is still being worked on. What I do to save time later in the episode is because I re- it kind of catches up on me um, how fast the episode's going. Is um, I only record myself building the, um, laying the tracks and putting signals in, and sometimes putting, and very rarely putting the trains in. But that is where uh, what I mean when I say it, the, the pace is going to pick up a lot. So that's they'll be the hardest to keep up with. <laughs> Now we have the uh, York and North Midland Railway extending from York to Scarborough Central Station uh, via Malton and also a branch off the line uh, at Rillington to Pickering where it meets the uh, Whitby in Pickering Railway and from there the Yorkshire, the York and North Midland Railway has also absorbed the Whitby and Pickering Railway and introduced steam traction because in reality up until now um, that line was horse drawn. This also means that I'm, I finally have an opportunity to do a proper freight service. Um, I don't think I've done it on camera, but I, um, I put in a fish train from Whitby down to York and Leeds. So we'll get food delivered to those two cities, hopefully. Go back up to Scotland, we have the, um, the Dundee and Perth Railway opening between Dundee West Station and Perth uh, Princess Street. I think it was Princess Street. After demolish half of Perth to put the station because it's such an awkward angle. Um, because Perth station has two platforms that kind of go off at about 45 degrees, the curve. It just makes it a little bit awkward it's just, uh, to do an open DD. I wish you could uh, have 45 degree angle stations. Quickly just there we had the, uh, the Bolton and the Kenyon and Lee Junction Railway uh, and the Liverpool and Manchester Railway being absorbed by the Grand Junction Railway. So 
the Grand Junction is extending its influence. And we also have the South Eastern Railway, um, building a branch line from Tun Tonbridge to Tunbridge, because that's not confusing at all. At the same time, uh, the Midland Railway comes over the Leeds and Bradford Railway. And the South Eastern Railway is extending from Ashford to Canterbury West. And because it's reached Canterbury West, Canterbury North Lace, uh, Lane Station has closed. And all the trains have been diverted to the West Station. Also, the Preston and Wire Railway is opening, um, sorry, is extending from uh, Kirkham and Wesham to uh, Lytham. And sorry, but. Uh, um, the Brighton and Chester Railway is extending from Worthing to uh, Littlehampton. And we also have the uh, Eastern Counties and T T Thames Railway um, opening from Stratford low, low Level Station to uh, North Woolwich. And the Preston and Wire Railway uh, extending from Poultonly Fyde to Blackpool North Station. Which was actually um, called um, Talbot Road. I think it was later that it got rebuilt and renamed North. And we also have the uh, South Devon Railway opening between uh, Exeter St Thomas, Thomas Station and Tainmouth through uh, Dawlish. And I've made sure to uh, put in the Seaball section at uh, Dawlish. Railway. 
back up to Scotland for the um, for the North Bur- for the sorry the, the Edinburgh, Leith, and New Haven Railway, uh, building a branch line to North Leith Station, and also the uh, North British Railway finally opening between um, Berwick upon Tweed and Edinburgh Waverley, which means we can finally put in the big Edinburgh Waverley station. of the North British Railway that um, it will eventually become one of the major uh, companies in Scotland but for now it just exists to, um, to complete the East Coast Main Line from Berwick uh, into Edinburgh. Also at the same time the, um, the North British built a branch line to Haddon. Inverness at the time was just a tiny little town, which is why they didn't bother putting in a, a connection in yet. It wasn't until the railways came that it actually grew into the town it is today, ironically. The Preston and Blackburn Railway, which is a branch line off from Preston into Blackburn. Nothing much more to say on that. to Ireland for the, for the um, Belfast and County Down Railway, opening between Belfast Queen's Quay Station and uh, Holywood. Holywood? Not Hollywood, Holywood. Don't get the two confused. Then back across for the... Uh, that was the Abingdon Railway, it was just really fast to branch line to Abingdon on the Great Western Main Line. And now we have the Eastern New Noon Railway, excuse me, opening between uh, Colchester North and Ipswich. It's a strange land over outside. <laughs> So since the Eastern, Eastern Counties Railway couldn't um, run out of funds at Colchester, a new company was formed, the Eastern Union Railway, which uh, said, no, we're going to do it ourselves, screw you. 
Now we have the uh, Brighton, Lewis and Hastings Railway opening between Brighton and Hastings. Again, this is just another railway that links all together all the um, South Coast resorts. So we'll get a lot of passengers using those lines. Especially when I put in all the um, Holiday Express trains. <laughs> And the uh, Brighton and Chichester railways extending from uh, Littlehampton to Chichester. And also the London Croydon Railway, London and Brighton Railway, London and Chichester Railway, sorry, Brighton and Chichester Railway, and the Brighton, Lewis and Hastings Railway, all merging together into the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. Take a shot every time I say railway and try not to die. Uh, the Richmond and West End Railway opening between Clapham Junction and Richmond, which uh, was also opened to the same uh, owned by the London and South Western. The Manchester and Birmingham Railway, the Grand Junction Railway, and the London and Birmingham Railway, and the Northampton and Peterborough Railway have all merged together into the London and North Western Railway. So we find so we have one company on the mainland from London all the way to Manchester and Liverpool. And we also have the uh, the London Black Tech Leeds and Leeds and Manchester and Leeds are away and the Manchester and Manchester and Leeds are Now we have the Leeds and Bradford and Leeds and Bradford are away over Indirect food, but it was the only one of the ten, so it's going to make money. Like I said, because you can't really do um, triangular stations in open DVD, I think it should be in the last two stations. Shipping in and should be pushed. In reality, bridge, you will own by it. And also the uh, Kilmarnock and Troon Railway being absorbed by the Glasgow Paley Kilmarnock and Air Railway. Uh, the Newtile and Glamis Railway being absorbed by the Scottish Midland Junction Railway. Got so many absorptions. What that was there, that there was the Aberdare Railway opening between Abyssinon and Aberdare. And now we have the Great Southern and Western Railway opening between Dublin Kingswood Station and Carlo. We had lots more absorptions there, that was so fast we just kind of missed it. So while I'm building this, I'm just going to say the um, Hartlepool Dock and Railway and the Great North of England Clarence and Hartlepool Junction Railway were absorbed by the North, by the York and Barrack Railway. Uh, just eliminating all those tiny, say, uh, tiny railways, uh, one line railways. Also, the Birmingham and Gloucester Railway and the Bristol and Gloucester Railway have both been absorbed by the Midland Railway. So that company has an influence in the southwest now. And the Blackburn and Preston Railway, Rest Railway has been absorbed by the um, Manchester, Bury and Rossendale Railway. I told you it get fast paced. <laughs> 
not sure if the, uh, the video is going to be lagging here for you, but it is for me, so I apologise for that. It's just because I'm slow. Now we have the um, Midland Railway extending from Nottingham Station to uh, Lincoln St. Mark's. Also at the same time, I forgot to put this in now, but the Midland Railway also extends from Siston near Leicester to um, Peterborough Crescent Station. Via um, Rutland, Melton Bowbray and uh, Oakham and Stamford. Manchester Bury and Rossendale Railway has renamed the East Lancashire Railway. And I'm doing all these absorptions I told you about earlier, I told you would be fast. And now we have the York and Newcastle Railway extending from Erie Home Junction to Richmond. And also the um, East Lancashire Railway opening. Apparently first we have the uh, York and North Midland Railway extending from um, Hull to Bridlington. Via Beverly and Driffield. Sorry, I mentioned the East Lancashire Railway opening, just very, very briefly there. Um, ignore that completely. What actually happened is the um, Manchester Bury and Rossendale Railway are going to be building in a second. And here we go, the um, Manchester Bury and Rossendale Railway. Clifton and Wartonstall, and also as it opened, um, when it opened it also renamed to the East Lancashire Railway, that's what I got confused about. because that was just the closest place uh, to uh, Rossendale because Rossendale was a pretty general name and we now have the um, Lancaster and Carlisle Railway opening between Lancaster Castle Station and Oxenholm via Conforth and also the uh, Kendall and Windermere Railway opening between Oxenholm Junction and Kendall but I actually put the whole line by uh, the whole bunch line by, by mistake Dundee and Utile Railway is absorbed by the Dundee and Perth Railway. That's it, nothing more to say on the matter. And now we have the um, Lynn and Darren Railway opening between Kidland, Kingsland and Narborough, and the Lynn and Ely Railway opening between Kingsland and Downham Market. So both those lines are linked together at Kingsland, but um, they're not connected to the rest of the network anywhere just yet. They're working towards that. Now we 
we have the um, the eastern the, sorry the Norfolk Railway extending from um, Wimondham to Durham, which is now today known as the Mid Norfolk Railway. Have a try. And the Eastern Union Railway extending from Ipswich to Bury St Edmunds. Now Bury St Edmunds isn't on the main line, so they just built it so the main line is open as far as um, Holy Junction, and then there's the branch line that takes it off from there to Bury. Bedford Railway opening um, between Bletchley and Bedford, Bedford St. St. John's Station, uh, under the London and North Western Railway. And also the um, Shrewsbury and Chester Railway opening between Chester General Station and uh, Ruabin. South Eastern Railway extending from Canterbury West Station to Margate Sands, which involves a reversal at a Ramsgate Station, which is in the Ramsgate Station we know today. And all that comes much, much later. Eastern Counties Railway is now extending from um, Ely to Peterborough. Peterborough East Station where it meets the uh, Northampton Peterborough Railway. Railway. Southwestern Railway extending from Eastley to um, Salisbury Milford Station. Milford was just a temporary station. Uh, Semi temporary. And the um, 
Blythe and Tyne Junction Railway is opening between uh, Seg Hill and Blythe, which also means I have to convert this line into um, passenger, uh, passenger use as well. So it meets uh, the Newcastle North Shields when I uh, line at Percy Main. And while I'm here, the Newcastle and Berwick Railway is opening its first section um, from Newcastle to Warpath via uh, Cramlington. Also at the same time, the Newcastle Barrack is also um, opening a section from Barrack to Chattel. Sorry, not Barrack, uh, Tweedmouth. Uh, because the, the Tweed was actually a very, very large river to cross. So it's all from Chattel, and I've also put in a uh, road link to Sea Hunters. The Whitehaven Junction Railway is opening between uh, Maryport and Whitehaven Brantley. Whitehaven and Brancy station is it, um, that's the station that's still open today I believe. And also the um, Leeds and Bradford Extension Railway is opening from uh, Shipley to uh, Keithley up the Air Valley. That's the, like the name of the, the, the river air. That's just not me, uh, as I always do. Um, see, there you go. <laughs> the London, Bright uh, London Brighton and South Coast Railway extending from uh, Chichester to Havant. And now the uh, Cockermouth and Workington Railway. Just a branch line off that line into Cockermouth. And now we have the London Derry and Ennis Cullen Railway opening Ennis Cullen. Opening between um, London Derry Foyle Road and Strabane. And the um, Dublin and Dogheader really uh, building a branch line from Health Junction to Health uh, via Sutton. And while we're in Ireland, we're doing the Midland Great Western Railway, opening between Dublin Broadstone Station and Enfield. Via uh, Consola. Southern and Western mainline. I put way main Newth in the wrong place then, so I just learned to live with it. It's hard to position towns when the land is completely flat. And back over into England for the, the Croydon and Epsom Railway, opening between a West Croydon station and Epsom. Which links up a couple of spa towns. Eastern Counties Railway extending from March to Wisbeck East. And the Lowestoft Railway and Harbour opening uh, between Needham and Lowestoft Central. Uh, by the Norfolk Railway, uh, the, the company was absorbed by the Norfolk, uh, the Norfolk Railway before it opened. And the uh, London Brighton and South Coast Railway, extending from Havant to Portsmouth Harbour via Portsmouth and South Sea. And the uh, East and West Yorkshire Junction Railway, extending from Polo to Broadbridge. This line confused me, because it says it's under the East and West Yorkshire Junction Railway, but it also says that the line from York to Harrogate is the East and West Yorkshire Junction Railway, so I'm not sure which one it is. But, uh, the Bristol and Exeter Railway extending from Yatton to Cleveland, and the South Devon Railway extending from Newton Harbour to Thomas. And the 
southeast of where we're extending from um, Minster to Deal. Deal's another town I've put in a slightly wrong place. Buy a sandwich. But the line that this railway has followed, um, it isn't uh, the Southampton to Weymouth line we know today. Uh, it went north via Ringwood. And that's because South um, Bournemouth, at this current time, was just a tiny little village on the cliffside. No one wanted to go there. It wasn't until um, a bit later that it was converted into a uh, resort, which is when it got, to, uh, got its railway. I attempted to actually split this up into two separate episodes, but I decided no, that I wanted to keep an episode, I, th- I think it one episode just covering two and a half in-game years, which just, I don't think it'll be enough, so I think I want to cover at least five years per in-game episode. And now moving on, we have the uh, Trent, Trent Valley Line opening between Rugby and Stafford. I put it in four, as four tracks because it's just part of the West Coast Main Line. And it will see a lot of heavy traffic.
So the Trent Valley again doesn't actually pass directly through Litchfield and Rugeley. Instead I just have two separate stations, uh, Litchfield City. So Litchfield and Rugeley Trent Valley. Eventually we will get um, Litchfield City and Rugeley Town on uh, different lines to serve them. But with the completion of this line I'll, I'm also putting in a lot more expresses. Um, because a lot of the London to the North Express is actually bypassed Birmingham. We also have the Midland Railway extending from Trent Junction to Pinkston North, where it meets the um, Mansfield and Pinkston Railway, which we built in the first episode. Um, the, the aim of this line is to link Edinburgh to Dundee and Perth, but the Tay and Firth e Forth estuaries are in the way. Um, the Firth of Tay and the Firth of Forth. So this company actually invented a, the train ferry. Um, big ferries where direct, like wagons and the carriages can be loaded directly on to carry them across the water. It's very uh, good technology, but it's still very slow. But that's also why the um, this Edinburgh Northern Railway comes all between the Edinburgh Heath and New Haven Railway. So it has its own direct access into Edinburgh. We also have the York and North Midland Railway extending from um, Bridlington to Scarborough. And also from York to Market Wade. Scottish Midland Junction Railway is also absorbed by the uh, New Tile and Kubar Angus Railway. And it'll come apart wide uh, in a few moments. It also means I have to rebuild that as double track. The Great Western Railway is building the Berks and Hans Railway, which is short for Berkshire and Hampshire Railway. And it's opening between Reading and Hungerford via Newbury. with a branch line to Brechen. Brecken? I think it's Brecken. Brecken. I'm not sure, you know what I mean. And there's also absorbed with the Arbreath and Fofa uh, Railway. Far, really.
now we have a big one. We have the Caledonian Railway, opening between Car uh, Carlisle Citadel and Carluke, where we'll meet all the um, all the small colliery tram lines that the uh, Caledonian has slowly been absorbing over the past few years to uh, finally gain access into Glasgow. This is actually a really fun one to build because it just follows the valleys, valleys and passes. So this is the northernmost section of the West Coast Main Line, and it's very, um, very curvy and slow. Two out of the three, England to Scotland, Langston. The third one will be coming uh, at the, uh, near the end of the episode, I believe. The Furness Railway is extending from Dalton in Furness to Broughton in Furness. Broughton's actually on a branch line, uh, it will later look will become a bar, but, uh, not a branch line. It's not going to be the track. The London, Brighton and South Coast Railway is extending from uh, Three Bridges to Horsham via Crawley. Counties Railway is extending from March to St. Ives. St. Ives in Cambridgeshire it is, it hasn't built the line all the way to Cornwall. That would have been fun though. Now we have the um, East Lincolnshire Railway opening between Grimsby Town and Leith. And also this on our opening, this was opened by the uh, Great Northern Railway. The Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway is also opening um, uh, another section from Grimsby Town to New Holland, where a ferry takes uh, passengers across the water into Hull. Now we have the um, the is it a, you know it's, a, uh, it's the uh, York and Hustle Barrack Railway extending from Northampton to Beedale. Now we have the Ulster Railway extending from Port Down to Armagh. Belfast and Ballymena Road Railway opening between your, uh, Belfast York Road and uh, Ballymena with branches to um, Carrickfergus and Randallstown. Back over into England for the um, Caledonian Railway, uh, extending from Carstairs Junction into Edinburgh Princes Street. And 
also the um, Chester and Holyhead Railway, opening between Chester General and Bangor. This line will become very, very popular because there's lots and lots of hotels on the North Wales coast. Hotels and resorts. So all the trains will be running full all the time. On the one hand, it's good to actually see the train playing a profit. But on the other hand, I don't want to put too many trains on any of the lines because they'll just become extremely laggy. Actually, want my computer to survive <laughs> until at least, I don't know, 1920. It'll become less laggy after the um, after the 1950s. Although I wonder why that is. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, and I don't want to break any hearts. We have the um, North Staffordshire Railway opening between uh, Norton Bridge near Stafford and Stoke-on-Trent. One. That is the doorbell. I'll be back in a moment. I am back. I just have to answer the door. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh yeah, this is the North Staffordshire Railway. Now we have the um, Chester, uh, sorry, Newmarket and Chesterford Railway, opening between uh, Great Chesterford on the um, on the West Anglia Main Line and Newmarket, and the South Devon Railway extending uh, from Totnes to Plymouth Mill Bay. which also completes the um, South Devon Main Line. Scratching at my door. You little bugger. Why do you have to do that? Sorry about that. Oh bugger, I've lost myself. Where am I now? Um, <laughs> Thursk Railway is opening between uh, Thursk Town and Wypen, which is a spa town. And the Edinburgh and Northern Railway is extending from uh, Kipa to Tayport. Uh, of course, at Tayport, another ferry will take passengers across to um, Rorty Ferry. And then the Dundee and Arbroath Railway to get to Dundee. And we also have the Scottish Central Railway opening between Perth General and Stirling. Yes, the East Lancashire 
Now we're exiting from Blackburn to Accrington. Sorry, no, yeah, that was the Morecam Harbour and Railway opening between Morecam and Lancaster, Green Eyre. And this is the Bolton, Blackburn, Clitheroe and West Yorkshire Railway opening between Bolton, Trinity Street and Blackburn, my bad. And now we have the East Lancashire, sorry, the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway extending from Nottingley to Doncaster. And also a line that I missed earlier, the um, the Wakefield, Pontefract and Goole Railway opening between um, Wakefield and, Pontif and Nottingley. Uh, which is which, and that company uh, as on the time of opening was already part of the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. And now we have the um, London Northwestern building a branch line to Dunstable from Leighton Buzzard. And we just missed the. Um, the Enver Northern Railway extending from Ladybank to Perth General. But now we have the Enver and Glasgow Railway extending from Lenny to Lennox Town. And now we have the York North Midland Railway extending from Church Fenton to Harrogate Brunswick. Um, Harrogate Brunswick was a separate, it was just a temporary station in Harrogate. We'll see the proper one open later. There was three safe stations in Harrogate before they all got um, merged together into the main one we know today. And we have the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway extending from Halifax to Bradford Exchange. via uh, Lomo. And we also have the Liverpool, Crosby and Southport Railway opening between Liverpool Exchange Station and uh, South Who Southport Chapel Street via Crosby and Formby. So now we have the um, Irish, the Irish South Eastern Railway, uh, opening between Carlow and Bagnallstown, uh, owned by the Great Southern and Western, and the uh, I've missed that, but that uh, just there was the Great Southern and Western extending from Kildare to Limerick Junction. And we also have the Windsor, Staines, and South Western Railway opening between Richmond and Windsor, also by the um, London and South Western. So going back to that because I was talking fast, I missed it, but the Great Southern and Western, that big Irish company, extending from Kildare to Limerick Junction, where it met the Limerick and Waterford Railway. We also have the Chester and Holyhead Railway, extending from Holyfed, Holyhead to Lanfair, on the other side of the Menai Strait. And I put in the full name, I spend the time and I put in the full name of the station. <laughs> it looks like I'm just spamming the keyboard. Also, we can put in our first ever uh, named express. The London North Western Railway have introduced the Irish Mail Express from London Euston um, to Holyhead, only stopping at the Bangor.
the York and North Midland Railway extending from Selby to Market Wayton. And now we have the Glasgow, Dumfries and Carlisle Railway opening between Gretna on the uh, West Coast Main Line and Dumfries. Also while I'm here, um, the Glasgow Paley, Paisley, Kilmarnock and Air Railway is extending from Kilmarnock to Muirkirk. Also mess up here. I put Kilmarnock in the wrong place. Um, so I actually demolished the whole town and I rebuilt it where it's supposed to be. Although I do that off camera just so I don't waste any time. This is when I realised, oh bugger, I've put Kilmarnock in the wrong place. <laughs> Newkirk is actually on a branch line, um, and a branch is off the main line at uh, Auchinleck. Auchinleck. Back in another minute, sorry. Sorry about that, I had a phone call, just had to take it. Yeah, so this is the um, Glasgow Paley Paisley Kilmarnock and Air Railway. Uh, just extending its line further southwards. Because the aim of the Glasgow Dumfries and Carlisle Railway is just to, to meet up with that uh, Glasgow Paley Kilmarnock and Air. If you hear me owing, I think my cat's just about to start talking to some birds. The Monkland and Kirkentelic Railway, the Balochny Railway and the Slamanan Railway are merging into the Monkland Railways, which is just a group of uh, colliery railways in central Scotland. The Caledonian Railway is extending from uh, Coatbridge Central to Greenhill Upper, where it's going to meet the Scottish Central Railway, which is extending from Stirling to Greenhill Upper. And also at the same time, the um, the Scottish Central Railway is going to uh, build a branch line from La Bay to um, Aloha. But because the um, the ta so the, the fourth yeah the fourth estuary is so big, um, they just had to put a station on the south side called South Aloha, and a ferry takes passengers across. Now we have the um, Scottish Midland Junction Railway opening between um, Perth General and Cooper Angus, which is why the, uh, the company absorbed by the um, Cooper Angus and Glamis Railways, uh, because of course then it can just, uh, use them on its main line to for far, where it meet the Aberdeen Railway. So in case that was just too fast to, uh, to make sense, there was now a direct line from London all the way up to for far, nearly Aberdeen using those to Scottish Midland Junction Railway and the Scottish Central Railway. Now we have the um this is an Irish one now. Oh yeah, this is me realising that I forgot the um the Great Southern and Western Railway extending to Limerick Junction. Yeah, so this episode, uh, sorry, the, um, oh, every time I get the chance to talk about we'll building a new thing. This is the London and South Western Railway, extending from Faro to Cosham, where it'll uh, meet the Portsmouth branch, and the Wilfs, Somerset and Weymouth Railway, opening between Chippenham and Westbury. This, line, uh, this railway was created with the hopes of linking Chippenham on the Great Western Railway to Salisbury and Weymouth. We're not a money as far as Westbury, so... Uh, the East, Link East Anglian Railway is extending from Narborough to Durham. Uh, well, the 
Little uh, Norfolk Railway. And we also have the East Lincolnshire Railway extending from to Thursday. I'm going to in Thursday, but it's on the um, it's where the Skagway Punch will come. Railway extending from Oxford Oxeter to Burton. Burton on Trent, where it's meeting the uh, Midland Railway. And the East Lancashire Railway extending from Accrington to Burnley Central. There's three stations at Burnley there's Burnley Central, there's Burnley Barracks, and there's Burnley Manchester Road. Burnley Central and Burnley Barracks are right next to each other on the same line. So that's the two that I get putting, uh, put in here. The Leeds, Dewsbury and Manchester Railway is opening between Murs Mursfield, Murfield and Leeds Central Station uh, by the London Northwestern. There's a big tunnel just uh, south of uh, Morley, which is uh, at a perfect 45 degree angle, so that was incredibly awkward to put in. Leeds Central Station is also really hard because um, there's lots of rivers and parallel tracks in, in uh, Leeds, so it's just hard to uh, squeeze everything in. It didn't mean I had to demolish half of Leeds City Centre though. Will anyone really miss it though? That, that's the important questions here. This is the Leeds and Thirsk Railway extending from Ripon to Wheaton. This is the other station, one of the other stations of Harrogate, Starbuck. Um, it's not exactly in Harrogate, but it was close enough for the co companies to consider it a Harrogate station. And it was just because Har Harrogate was up a hill, so the uh, companies didn't want to deviate the line. And now we have the higher level bridge being built, which links, the, uh, which crosses the Tyne, which means then finally close that Redduce station divert all the trains into Newcastle Central, but there's still Newcastle and um, Carlisle Square, which still exists. Now we have the, uh, the Edinburgh Northern Railway building a branch line to firm line from Cowdenbeath, from sorry, from Thornton Junction. This is another mistake I make, Cardenton, Cardenton is in the wrong place, so I just have to make a compromise. Yeah, I remove Cardenton and put a new town in uh, with the same name. We have the Glasgow Barhead and Nielsen Direct Railway opening between Glasgow Th South Side Station and uh, Barhead, which is the start of our um, Glasgow suburban system. Also, we have another uh, Glasgow station, which is Glasgow South Side. And the Aberdeen Railway is extending from. Um, Hillside to Stonehaven via uh, Lawrence Kirk. Extension Railway is extending from Skipton to Cole, completing the line on the Midland side. But there's another company that still has to reach Cole, which is the um, the East Lancashire. The 
North Staff Row is extending from Stoke-on-Trent to both Crewe and Macclesfield, which completes both of the um, North Staffordshire main lines, because the two main lines run from Manchester to Stafford and from Crewe to Derby. This also means we're putting the other station in Macclesfield, which is Macclesfield Central. Shrewsbury and Chester Railway is extending from Ruabon to Shrewsbury, completing its line. Midland Great Western Railway extending from Enfield to Mullingar. Right, this annoys me there. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the Irish companies really do not have original names. They have the Great Southern and Western Railway, totally not copying the Great Western at all. And the Great Western, the Great, the, sorry, the Midland Great Western Railway. Like what? The Irish Midland Railway and the Irish South Western Railway, Railway would have made more sense since you have the Irish Great Northern. I just, never mind. I'm talking about things from over a hundred years ago. Now the actual Midland Railway, the English one, extending from Nottingham to Kirkby in Ashfield East, where it meets the Mansfield and Pinkston line. And also the Midland Railway extending from Swannington to Burton, which completes the uh, Leicester to Burton line. We have the East Lancashire Railway extending from Firsby to Boston. And the Great Northern opening its uh, under the main section um, from Peterborough North to Lincoln Central via Boston. Diagonal parallel tra uh, tracks owned by different companies in this game because just the way the tiles are, so I had to um, use the joint company and it's just very, very awkward. We have the Malden, Whittam, and Braintree Rail Day opening between um, Braintree and Malden via Whittam, two branch lines at the same time by the Eastern Counties Railway, and Southampton and Dorchester Railway absorbed by the London and South Western, which means I can finally put in some London to the Weymouth Expresses as I do here. And the Great Western Railway is extending from Reading to Basingstoke. Linking those two, important keeping a line commuter line today. And now we have the um, Liverpool and Bury Railway opening between Liverpool Exchange uh, through Wigan, through Bolton, uh, to Bury. And also on opening, this, uh, this railway was absorbed by the, uh, the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. 
who then also put an um, extended line from Bowie Gordon Street to, uh, to Rochdale. You'll see what I mean. Bury Bolton Street and Bolton no, uh, Bury, 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 Bury Nosy Street and Bury Bolton Street. But if you get on the edge, there's no trains from Bury and Bolton Street between Bury and Bolton. <laughs> now we have the um, Great Grimsby and Sheffield Junction Railway open between um, Grimsby and Lincoln Central, um, owned by the she Manchester Sheffield Lincolnshire Railway. I uh, built the line to both Lincoln stations here. And the um, South Devon Railway extending from Newton Abbott to Torquay. On the English Riv Riviera. Sheffield and Lancashire Junction Railway opening between Sheffield Victoria and Gainesville E Road. Now I missed that, um, uh, my bad, um, much of a quarter, but the Great Western Railway has just also introduced a new lane named Express, the Flying Dutchman, between London Paddington and Exeter St David's. Running nearly non stop. Railway is extending from uh, Thornhill near Murley, Murfield, sorry, to uh, Lomua, Lomua. And uh, London Northwestern is also building two lines, one from um, Oldham Glodwick Road to Delft, also known as the Delft Donkey because it's a legend that a donkey uh, pulled a single carriage along those lines. Although I think that's um, regarded as to be unfortunately not true because the line actually crosses onto a main line. I doubt that that donkey onto the main leads uh, to Manchester line. <laughs> and also on um, from Stockport to Guide Bridge, uh, sorry, to, uh, and on to Starley Bridge, which is the Stockport to Starley Bridge line we uh, know today, which only gets one train per week. People are trying to close by stealth, unfortunately. So hopefully it stays open. The Shrewsbury and Chester Railway has built a branch line from Gobborn to Oswestry. Street. And now we have the um, Dundalk and Alice Cullen Railway opening between Dundalk Junction and Castle Blaney. And I think I missed it there because it was very, very fast, but that was the London and South Western Railway extending from um, Surbiton to Hampton Court at the Hampton Co Court branch line and the East Lancashire Railway extending uh, from Burnley Centr Central to Colne. And the um, Manchester Sheffield and Lancashire Railway extending from New Holland to Barton on Humber. And the Eastern Counties Railway extending from Angel Road to Enfield East. And the, uh, where are we now, yeah. The Great Northern Railway extending from Lincoln Central to Gainesville Lee Road. Because under the, um, the, uh, the, um, the 
confirm the bill, the parliamentary bill that the Great Northern Railway had. Sorry, this is the um, this is the Manchester Sheffield Lincolnshire Railway extending from Barnaby to Gainsborough. Anyway, the Great Northern had permission to build a main line from London to Doncaster, as well as a loop line from Peterborough through to Lincoln and then back into Doncaster. So they decided to build the loop line first. So now the Great uh, the Manchester Sheffield Lincolnshire Railway has a main line from Manchester all the way to Grimsby. The North Staffordshire Railway is uh, sorry this. Yeah, the North Staffordshire Railway has um, building a line from near Rugeley up to Stone. Colwich, and now we have the the South Staffordshire Railway, opening between uh, Barton under Needwood, which is near Bur Barton on Humber. So Burton, Jesus Christ, that's not right at all. Barton under Needwood, which is near Burton on Humber. <laughs> it's opening between there and Dudley via uh, Warsaw. Kirk and Preston Railway, opening between Liverpool Exchange and Preston, via Ormskirk and Budapest. The line of reality is perfectly straight because you can't have any angle than 45 degrees and over the ocean to make lots of events. Does it directly go into Preston and kind of there it goes around almost like a band of bridge? And also that line out of that railway on opening was absorbed by the East Lancashire Railway. The Edinburgh Northern Railway is renamed to the Edinburgh Perth and Dundee Railway. And the London Brighton South Coast Railway is extending uh, building a branch line from Polgate to Eastbourne. Manchester, Buxton, Madlock and Midland Junction Railway, opening between Ambergate and Rowsley, by a Madlock, with the ultimate gain of reaching Buxton, with the value of a Madlock. Union Railway opening between Stafford and Wellington by the Union and North Western Railway and the Shrewsbury and Wellington Joint Railway opening between Wellington and Shrewsbury and the Joint Railway because it's the jointly owned by the London North Western who connects Wellington to Stafford and the Shrewsbury and Birmingham Railway which connects Wellington to Wolverhampton. It's like a Y shape almost with the two companies sharing the bottom of the line. Clydesdale Junction Railway is opening between Wither Hill and Glasgow Southside. your usual programming to bring you these special messages. I am an idiot. You see, um, what I did was I spent about four hours recording. Uh, just like normal, like I do with uh, in the other recording sessions. Uh, in which I covered uh, about six months. Nearly pretty much the end of the episode. There's just a few little things left. And uh, I finished the recording session and I turned my computer off. And, and I forgot, forgot to hit stop record on OBS. 
And what that did was um, it corrupted the file. It corrupted the um, 90 minute long recording session that I'd spent four hours working on in total. And since I kind of just like, used my out on those like, six months of railway progress, I'm just here talking in real time. This is actually, the, the video is actually right in front of me right now. I know it's a massive change from all. So I'm just going to quickly go over all the things that was missed in the recording session, basically. Starting off with the, um, the Clydesdale Junction Rail, which is what we finished off with um, in the time lapse. Um, but now it has its own branch to Halton, and it's been absorbed by the Caledonian Railway. What, what else is there in Scotland? I don't think that anything else has changed in Scotland, really. Uh, let me double-check. Oh, yeah. The North, North British Railway's uh, build a branch line into Berwick. North Berwick, sorry. Um, and down from Weston to Duns. Let me just look here and see if there's anything else. No, I think that's all the things in Scotland. Uh, Scotland but um, starting in July, we have the um, York, Newcastle and Berwick extending York, Newcastle and Berwick Railway extending from Tweedmouth to Coldstream to Kelso. And we have um, the Leeds and Thirsk Railway finishing off the main line from Wheaton into Leeds City. Uh, the East and West Yorkshire Junction Railway opening from uh, York to Narsborough, Nairsborough, one of the two. You know, you know what I mean, it's right in front of you. It's next to Harrogate, I'm sure you know where it is. Well, I'm not sure, you probably don't, you're not a geography nerd like, like me. <laughs> I'm digging myself into a hole here, like I always do. Uh, what else do we have? We have the Whitehaven and Furness Junction Railway. Opening from uh, Whitehaven Preston Street down to this tiny little village here, Southfield. Tiny little hamlet with absolutely no significance, nothing special going on here whatsoever, and there never will be. I mean, what, there never will be. I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a Victorian engineer. I don't even know what uranium is. What, what are you even talking about? <laughs> Anyway, anyway, that opened as far as the Raven Glass, um, and with the, uh, all the goal of linking up with the furnace down here. The Preston and Wire Railway, this is one here, it has been absorbed jointly by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, which is approaching from here, and the London North Western. So, uh, so yeah, now we we'll have through services from Manchester up to Blackpool. Uh, moving on. The North Staffordshire, uh, down oh, yeah, no, first, the uh, Manchester, Manchester South Junction, and uh, Ultra, Altrincham, Altrincham. This one here is opened um, between Manchester London Road through Oxford Road, uh, Stratford Sale, down to here, which is now the Metrolink, I believe. That's spoilers once again. My Victoria, Victorian. What's a, what's a metro link? Um, the London North Western has also extended the line from uh, Starley Bridge up over the Pennines down into Huddersfield, where it meets the line into Leeds. The back down over here, the Mould Railway, which is a little branch line from Chester to Mould. And let me see what else. Oh, yeah, I've missed a few things up in there. In September, the, the York Newcastle and Berwick Railway uh, built this, this little bypass line here, so trains don't have to go via Bolden, Washington, Washington to Peel, what, uh, what's now Peel, and then I do the signals. Oh, come on. There we go. And, and also a branch, branch line from Chowington to Humble. Let's, Let's see how many people on this train. train. I bet I you like, like it. £2 pound that there's none. There we go. I was hesitant there, I was thinking I was going to have to dish out a few pounds with the prayers. And let me see. The, the Great Northern Railway is a build of Brun, uh, Brun Chain. Both started building its main line from Doncaster to uh, Redford, when it meets the Great Central. Uh, what else is there? 
the Lancashire and Yorkshire has built a branch line from Pontefract to Medley, where it now has so uh, services from Leeds to Doncaster. What else is there? I think, I think we just have to uh, head south first, um, because the Eastern Union Railway has extended from Hawley tradition to Dis and it's Nelly Beach Norwich. And yeah, Colchester, Scour Valley, and the Sudbury Railway is open from Marks to here to Sudbury. Um, oh, yeah, we'll have a few southern things as well. The uh, Strood, the, uh, sorry, the Rochester and Gravesend Railway opened actually in 1845, but I just completely forgot to put it in. Uh, I didn't even have it listed on the, the, the document. Um, that was just a section owned right here by the South Eastern, and then in July of 1849, they extended from Gravesend through Dartford into London Bridge. The one, one to extend, extend the Greenwich Main Line, the um, Greenwich uh, uh, Branch Line, uh, directly, directly like this, but they had a lot of opposition from Greenwich Hospital, which was right here, so they had to build a uh, completely separate uh, main line. And you also have the Reading, Guildford, and Rygate Railway, opening from Branch at um, Trough from Redhill, through Dorking, Guildford, Farnborough, and up into Reading. Uh, the station here at the Reading that we used by the Southern was actually um, a separate station called Reading Southern. Uh, but for simplicity's sake, I've got it in. Just, just because if you have two separate stations, um, even if they're touching each other, trans uh, passengers can transfer from each other between them. And then that's just a bit awkward. Do you want to need to have a sip of water? We also, we also have the um, Monmouthshire Railway, which, which is more of a tramway. Well, it opened as a tramway originally back in, um, I think it was the 1820s, but, but now it's just, just been converted to a proper um, broad gauge railway from uh, the, the collieries of Nanticlo uh, down into Newport, where they'll be shipped off. And um, I think that's it, other than one last little thing over here. here. Which, which is, is the, the, um, the Cork, Cork and Man, uh, except, except it hasn't opened all the way into Cork, Cork yet. So it's only opened as far as Ballin Hazig. Anyway, um, I think that's it, just, just catching you all up. I'm going to just stop myself waiting here. Just catching you all up. Back on the back over to the live stream. So sorry, the live stream time lapse. from Limerick Junction all the way down to Cork. I think I've got the order wrong here. I've missed out loads of stuff. My bad. Uh, is there any major stuff? Yeah, the, the, the Clydesdale Junction was absorbed by the North British, sorry, not the British, the Caledonian. Uh, the Cork and Bandon Railway so uh, is opened uh, at the first section. The Reading, Guildford and Rygate Railway is opened between Redhill and Rygate. South Eastern Railway is extended from London to Strood. The Preston and Wire Railway is absorbed by the Lancashire and Yorkshire and the London South Western. This is the um, Shrewsbury and Birmingham rail now uh, that I mentioned just before. I'm sorry that I've missed out so much there. I don't think I've just completely missed the footage. I'm sorry. Either I forgot to hit record or the footage was corrupted. Oh yeah, I know what the problem is. And 
you'll be hearing this literally just after my explanation. So my bad on that one. I completely forgot. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have to explain that twice. I would have showed you, my bad. Langston Yorkshire sending from Todd Bond to Burnley. The Northwestern Railway is extending from where are we now? Sorry, this is the uh, Edinburgh and Bathgate Railway. Opening between uh, Rathlow on the Edinburgh and Glasgow Main Line and Bathgate. And we also have the Edinburgh and Hoyke Railway opening between um, Eskbank and Hoyke, owned by the North British. As we are on the final run-up to the end of the episode, I want to thank you all for watching. <laughs> and I'm just going to leave you all with the last few things. Those things being the... No, no I'll tell you when I get them. But thank you all very much for watching, and uh, I'll be quiet now for the end of the episode until, apart from things that I need to say later. Well, I'll let you just enjoy the... Uh, enjoy the building. Aberdeen Rail is finishing off its main line from Stonehaven up to Aberdeen via the coast. And it's going into Aberdeen Guild Street. Yorkshire we're extending from Hall Creek to Bantley. This is actually under a completely separate company and then they sold half of it to this company and half of it to another company. Uh, long story short, this happened. What are you watching right now? And for the final ever thing of this episode before 1850, Thank you all very, very much for watching.